January 8, 2023, Marcus Giovanni here. 2023, Kelly B-R-O-U-G-H believes in the promise of Denver by Marcus Giovanni. See, I've been promising um, a future Denver since, wow, who knows how long. I would say 2007, 2008, and then I got serious in 2011 when... Uh, Karen Hubler, the magistrate judge, it used to be my ex's attorney, filed a uh, summary judgment along with the city attorney's office and Denver Health and Human Services. And when they mailed it so that I wouldn't get it, so I wouldn't have been served, and she used two other addresses that were close to where I lived until the final one, she got my address right. Now... Here's the thing, my address never changed. <sighs> okay? Karen Hubler was my ex's attorney. She helped structure our parental, our kids. Um, and then, so that was that. So, when you think about them putting a stamp on it to mail something that was illegitimate, that was actually a conspiracy to make it so that I'd pay my child support three times, folks. I paid it three times. And nobody wants to talk about it. And this is why Denver's going to be punished far more in the digital world than they'll ever imagine, and it's all legal. That's the beautiful thing about it. And when you think about Kelly and all the people she's connected to over the years, Janine Davidson coming up and the and all the directors of the, of the Metropolitan State University see what what Janine Davidson doesn't understand is that for being there since 2017 she hasn't learned a fucking thing and that all those students are going to be caught in the social credit system scores and rankings of Denver Metropolitan or Metropolitan State University you hear it so many different ways like at first, I didn't know what, I thought they were all different. Well, oh, we got Denver University. No, it's Colorado University of Denver. No, it's Denver University of Colorado. No, it's University of Denver. No, it's Metropolitan State University. No, it's MSU Denver. See, they smoke and mirrors, folks. The only one can figure it out is artificial intelligence. And they're about to hand these people a digital Hancock that they've never seen before. See, look at Let's build a better future together. See, I was telling people, let's build a better future Denver. Because you have to build toward the future. You can't build toward the past and former. And that's what all these people are. They're either former or they're a senator who took a step down like Lisa Herod, who's been indexed as someone that has no allegiance to the people she serves. She only has allegiance to herself, her blackness, her womanness, and her lesbianness. And all the laws that she's bloviated and bragged about, and the media and the authors to which those sources have come out and bloviated the same bullshit. Overruling, overriding, and disrespecting the Spear Amendment. The Honorable Mayor Robert W. Spear made it so that we'd be non-political that our sole purpose is the economy and services. Service, folks. We're getting charged for things that should already be included with our property tax. And those who argue, well, I only have one person in my family and I'm paying more for those that are... No. No, you're not. Because you weren't paying anything. And the only reason why you were paying for compost is because those people were able to bullshit y'all when that should have been covered under the property taxes because our property taxes, they keep lowering them and lowering them to make everybody feel good, but then they add tax, they add the fees, which is more than the taxes they would have collected. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. Welcome to Denver. Welcome to the uh, mortal world of the Denver... Democrats who have with Dottie Lamb. Go away. Susan Barnes Geltz. Go away. You guys are indexed to the dark web and you're going to be alive to see what you and Webb and Pena and Hickenlooper and Hancock and Denver Inc. and Denver Decides and DenverGov.org and 
Denver TV Aid and Denver Health and Human Services and the district courts of Karen Hubler, the magistrate judge, who's the most pitiful woman of all women, along with Elizabeth Lay, and their, their horrific damage to our children and the families that they've broken up for anybody that stands up to them and asks them logical questions. These are women that have hit menopause and it's affecting their judgment, it's affecting their actions, and it's affecting everybody they know. Welcome to Artificial Intelligence, O-A-I-O-U.